This is the AI Pro Vision Enhancer and it goes on the AI Pro camera. And if you haven't seen that video, that's the last one just before this. So go watch that and I'll wait and then come back. Go on, watch that. All right, so you watched it. This is an enhancement of that camera and it's pretty darn cool. So uh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel because that helps me out a ton. This is four in one bag of tricks. This is a, a we'll install in just a minute, just above here where I installed the AI Pro. Um, this uh, gives you a floodlight. It gives you a loudspeaker. It has a uh, in extended IR range, so up to 40 meters of infrared at night. And then it has a radar. Yeah, I'm not sure, but apparently it can detect people and vehicles further away, uh, distance wise. So we'll get distance. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. I guess we'll find out. So first step is to take it out of the box and then we'll install it. Hmm. Right, so that's the box. Um, I think there's just that in it, but let's have a look. Oh, I know you all like this, so I'm gonna be quiet and do this. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I know. Ah, all right, so this, oh yeah, oh, that's big. Okay, that, that is it. That's quite large, isn't it? All right, cool. That looks like some sticky tape here. That's too, oh, that's the, probably the, was that the? Yeah, I don't, that's probably the infrared. I'm not sure. Anyway, I think that's the loudspeaker. And then this is probably the flotlight light around here. And that's obviously where the camera goes in. All right, okay, yep. What else is in here? We have nothing else. Ah. Nope, that's all we got. All right, let's install it up there. All right, so to uh, attach it, we've got to take the camera off, put it in through, and put it back on. I think that's how it works. Anyway, we're about to find out. So that's the bottom. So I think it's gonna go in, obviously the top here, it needs to be at the top. Like that. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Oh, I forgot. It connects via USB-C, so there's a little USB-C flap here we just got to take off. If I can, there we go. Like that. That's where it plugs into. Like that. So it only kind of fits one way. Um, all right. Come on. Oh, and then there's a, a windy thing here that screws it on. That's quite nice. All right, so we screw that on. Boop, boop, boop. So it's tight. And then the US, uh, the RJ45 Cat6 is just there, right in through there. That's neat. All right, I think that's all we have to do. So we'll plug it back in. Uh, there we go. And we'll put its little thing back on here. Screw back on. And then put this on so that it can sit properly. All right. I think that's on. All right. And then we should probably take these off from the infrared. No, that's, that's not, I don't know. I think that's the infrared. It could also be that laser. I'm not entirely sure. Laser distant measuring thingy. But it's on, it's firing up. So um, let's jump in on the desktop because there's a bit more room to see things and um, see what we got. Let's just start with looking at what the AI Pro gives us without the enhancer. So as I you know, went through in my last video, this is a 4K camera. This is a very, very high quality uh, image. Uh, it has three times optical zoom. So that is zooming in um, and recording like it's more of a positioning. You can't zoom in after the fact, obviously when it's recorded, um, but it's not meant for as a PTZ camera moving about all the time. It's for setting it up. Has advanced AI to take people, read license plates and more, as we saw. Now we're gonna have a little bit of enhancement with that. I'll show you. 25 meters of night vision, and we have two way audio uh, and, and more other things um, that you can watch in the last video. Now the enhancement of it is this AI Pro Enhancer. 
um, which has a nice graphic animation. Isn't it lovely? That's how we installed it. Lovely. Um, so it has, as I said, four tricks and we're going to go through them. I'll show you each of them after this. So it extends the IR range up to 40 meters. So that's not quite double, but almost. It's quite a significant increase. It has a radar in it. Yes, that'd be interesting. I'll show you how that works uh, and some of the quirks around it. Not quirks, but things you need to sort of um, consider. And then it has this floodlight with 600 lumens. It's the same, I think the 600 lumens is what the uh, the Protect floodlight, the dedicated floodlight has as well. So it's pretty bright. And then it has this high performance loudspeaker which sits underneath there, underneath the, uh, the, on the, on the enhancer module. So yeah, it's quite a bit of uh, improvement. So let me show you how that looks in AI, uh, sorry, rather than Protect. So here is the driveway camera that we just put up. And you can see here we have uh, connection, etc. There's all the, the standard stuff here, bit rate, etc. Now, if I go under recording mode, we have recording options, which uh, looks familiar, I would imagine. And then we have motion events, which are the same still, that hasn't changed. And we have the AI events. Now, to take full advantage of the enhanced um, uh, module, the enhancer, vision enhancer, uh, you need to have uh, person and vehicle enabled and, uh, and license plate. All right, so let's just go to the settings for the camera. Uh, and by the way, you can now see that it says AI Pro and Enhancer plus Enhancer. So it recognizes that that is attached. Uh, in here, we have a whole new Enhancer menu. And that's where we can set some of the um, features. It doesn't look like much, but there's a bit more going on than you might think. So we have, first of all, we have color night vision. That just means here the camera spotlight will colorize nighttime detection recording. So that's the 600 lumens that come on. It lights up an object detected in a specific detection zone and within the radar detection range of the camera. Now that's important. So what it's saying here is that the spotlight will come on when there's something within the radar zone and is set up to be detected. In other words, it will only come on when there's a car or a person or an animal, um, or dog usually. It doesn't actually work with all animals, as I've found. Um, and within the range, that's when the spotlight comes on. So it's not for all motions. It's not for all events that it comes on. And the range is down here. It says zero to 20 meters where I set it up. We could set it up to 28 meters is the longest. Um, but, you know, something like this, 21 meters, something. And then, of course, we have spot, turn the spotlight after no motion for a certain number of seconds. This detection range is how far away something has to be before the spotlight comes on. Let me show you that with the actual camera. So here is something I recorded earlier. And to make all the features work, we have to have the detection highlights enabled, which are here. So person, vehicle, animal, face. And now as I press play, you'll see me coming in front of the camera. So now it's in black and white, IR. It detects a person, it turns the floodlight on, and you can see I now have measurement in terms of how far away I am from the camera or from the sensor as well. So that's the radar part of it. Um, now, if I walk further away than, say, the 20 meters or 22 meters, whatever it is, then I will no longer in, uh, trigger the floodlight. And the reason that that is done that way is that you might have an area of your camera within the view that is just perfectly lit you know with let's say street lights or other things so that the ir is actually quite good and you don't need the spotlight to come on that far away so you can adjust that i hope that makes sense so that's the floodlights and the radar part of it so they kind of go together uh, they are two features but they kind of are linked so let me just show you the ir here and i'll show you first without the enhancer on it so let me just bring that up so here is a recording from before the enhancer was on. So this is the 25 meters of IR. And you can, you can sort of just see the lawn here. That's uh, the bit down the driveway. And the camera's a bit more crooked. I must have adjusted it. <laughs> anyway, uh, the light you see down here is actually from the gate camera's infrared. So that's picking up that as well. So the infrared down there. So that's, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Now with the enhancer on and the adjusted angle, you can see that it actually lights up the trees down here. So if I just go back, you can't see the trees at all. And now you can see the trees down there. So it's quite significantly further. And as someone at Unify pointed out to me as well, well, if I didn't have the trees at the front here, 
I actually prob would probably get even longer range because the camera will adjust its focus length to whatever is the brightest. So um, if you have less things in the foreground, you might even get longer IR range. But obviously this is where I want the camera, this is where the cars are, so that's all I show. And just because I like this radar range detection, I'll just show you here the number plate recognition coming up. So there it says, you can see the, the range actually comes on pretty quick and it shows me as an SUV, it reads the number plate. It's all really lovely. I, I like that a lot. So I think that that's pretty cool. So that's the three of the features. That's the IR extended range, that's the floodlights, and that's the radar. So now we only got back, left is to show the loudspeaker part of it. So let me just get set up for that so I can record the audio and then we'll test that. Hang on a second. So the vision enhancer is up there. I'm gonna use my phone to talk into so we can hear it up there. I've gone a little bit further away so that we get a sense of how loud it is. So hopefully you can hear it. I might just turn this way so the microphone will pick it up better. All right, so I press the little blue button here and I can talk into it. Hello YouTube. You hear that? So everything I say in here comes out really loud. And I'll press the button again. It's loud. It is properly loud. Like you can hear that like almost all of the vision of the camera, I would imagine. Um, so yeah, that works really well. And handy that you have it on the phone so that you can use it when you're out and about, right? Um, so those are the four things. We're, that was the infrared extension. It was the 600 lumens. It was the radar up to 28 meters. Remember, that's what turns on the um, spotlight or the, the lumens, the, 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 the colored nighttime vision if you wish. Um, and finally, we have the loudspeaker. So pretty good enhancements. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll give you my opinion next. So where are we at? Now we have the combined package. This is really interesting. First of all, the aesthetics, someone's pointed out, this is not the best looking thing, but I can live with that. It looks really bulky, um, but that's okay because I think Right now, this is probably my favorite uh, Unify camera. Is it expensive? Relatively expensive. Uh, but the quality is amazing. With the Vision Enhancer, uh, you, you, it just lifts the whole thing up. Like this is so far ahead of the G5 Pro now, I think. But again, price-wise, uh, yeah, it's tricky. I do think this is top of the line. Yes, there's the PTZ, and yes, there's the uh, AI DSLR camera as well, which are very, very expensive compared to this. But there's such a niche market for those. I think this is probably the best um, camera in their range. Just my opinion. I really liked the number plate thing. Now, in the previous video, I should just mention it. I had a little bit of trouble getting it to work. There's a couple of reasons that might have happened. Um, it could have been that it was slightly out of focus. I hadn't focused it properly. That can be, because you can focus it manually. I might have done that. That could be one reason. But also, um, I have wireless links going to my NVR, which is usually not a problem. It's a gigabit link. It's wireless, but it's a gigabit. But if that wasn't performing properly, which at one point it wasn't because of a dodgy cable, that could have been why the number plate recognition wasn't as good because it might have been more pixelated than otherwise normally would have been. But I'm going to keep testing it. I'm not sure. I do think it's a great feature. Uh, number plate recognition, the spotlight, I really like that. It's very handy when you are outside and it recognizes you obviously. I had a wombat walk past and I didn't see that. So that spotlight didn't come on because it wasn't a, a, an AI event, but okay. Um, the uh, the two-way speaker, I'm not sure I'm going to use it that much in where I am, but I can definitely see a use for it because that's really handy being able to talk to uh, wherever, you know, a crowd, a person or a doorbell or even kind of thing, right? So uh, I like it. It's a lot of money for the whole package. It, it really is, but wow, it really performs. Um, the camera is just so crisp, so crisp. So let me know, as always, in the comments, what do you think about, well, the AI Pro or the Vision Enhancer or the whole package? Is this something you would consider? What else, if not? Um, and, and tell me where your thoughts are, because I really like it. I'm going to keep it here. I'm going to keep using it uh, on the driveway 
and testing out especially the number plate. I'm going to get another AI camera for the gate and I'm going to try and do something special with the number plate and the gate, etc. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe. That's down below. Click the button. Yeah, click the button. Okay, bye. Okay, so where are we at? Wait for truck to pass. Because it's loud. Country living, they said. It'll be quiet, they said. Wasn't even a truck, it was a ute. Anyway, off you go.